Hi YouTube crafters. Um, I wanted to do a quick video today because I got um, a new UV resin in the mail. So I have another one as well and I figured I would do um, a comparison video. Not only for myself but maybe it'll help someone out um, if you're trying to decide between what kind of UV resin you want. So um, if you're interested, um, keep watching. So the two UV resins I'm comparing today are the um, Decorum or Decorum, <laughs> the UV resin hard. Uh, it's clear and it says it's crystal clear, self degassing, gassing, uh, self degassing, sorry, resistant to yellowing, um, 200 grams. Um, and it says that these are the main ingredients, which I really like that it lists those because sometimes, um, you know, some resins are more compatible with others than others. Um, so that's nice. Um, this was um about $25 and I got it off of Amazon. Okay. The second resin I have is um Chow Chow DIY. Uh also UV resin hard. Uh it's only a hundred grams. Um all the instructions are in Chinese, uh, which you can translate them. It's just like general stuff. Like, oops. Um like how you know how long to cure it and under what kind of wattage. Um, times, things like that. You can just translate that on Google Translate. It's not that big of a deal. Um, anyway, this is 100 grams. This was around um, $20, and I got it off of eBay, if I remember correctly. Um, eBay or Amazon. They're on there as well. I don't have a tripod, so I'm just kind of holding it. Um, I thought this was really cute. They put a little satisfied or unsatisfied little card in here so you can contact them that's a nice touch um something i really like is that off right off the bat the decorum comes with um a nozzle tip and you unscrew that so that's super super handy <laughs> And again, the instructions are in English, which is really helpful. Okay. Also, a nice note is that this resin, um, it's really, really nicely sealed. It has like two seals on top. Um, which is nice because sometimes other resins, if they're not sealed properly, they can kind of leak. So that's the bottle, just so you can see it. And again, this is 200 grams. And it has, ooh, nice, the curing times over here and more instructions and notes. So I'm gonna go ahead and open okay, it. Okay, so I opened it up. It was kind of hard to peel it off, so I just cut it with an X-Acto knife. Um, I know you can't <laughs> smell it, but um, the smell is a little bit strong. It's not too bad. Um, I would say, uh, I would say it's just as strong as the Chow Chow, which we'll get to in a second, but um, I guess the smell, I would say it's pretty average. It's not too bad. I had a UV resin that I ordered. Um, I couldn't even keep it in my house. It was so, it was so smelly. But this is, it is pretty average for UV resin. And I'm sure, um, we'll do a little test, but I'm sure that will go away once I cure it. Half on the paper and half on the silicone. I'm just using the back of a mold. That should be good. If you don't use UV resin, um, a good tip is remember to cap it because it's easy to spill it, and if any UV gets into it, well, it's like you ruined <laughs> you ruined your whole batch. gonna do this. Ooh, that already has something on it, sorry. Okay. 
Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour some into this little cup. Um, just so we can see how fluid it is. Fur. Ooh. Okay. This is a lot more liquidy than the chow chow. Which, honestly, it's, it's just, it depends on your preference, if that's a good or a bad thing. Because, um, I do like the chow chow because to glaze, like, for example this little gummy bear barrette um it's nice to glaze because it's a little thicker and it won't drip off as fast you know you can kind of set it uh, with your uv light um but sometimes when you're working on other things you you just don't want it as thick so you can work a little faster or mix things into it a little faster so i guess that kind of boils down to your preference but I really like this because it's not it's not too thin, you know. Okay, that should be enough. Put that over here. Okay, so I'll just show you quickly the two little samples. I'm gonna zoom in here. It's kind of hard to to see, but um, it has a couple of bubbles. Let me pop that real quickly. It's not focusing. Sorry. There you go. Oh, the bubbles came out really easily. That's nice. Sometimes it's a little more difficult to get it out of the chow chow. Um, I'm just going to pop these into the UV light. It's a 36 watt. Um, oh, whoops. It's not heavy enough. There we go. I'm going to put it in there for 60 seconds. Okay. That was 60 seconds. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Focus here. I'm going to use my little needle tool. <laughs> it's a Carol P um, pencil that I made into a little tool. Um, anyway, I'm gonna poke. I'm gonna poke them to see how hard they are at 60 seconds. Let me focus here. There we go. Okay, it's pretty good. Oh, sorry. There we go. You can see there's like a little film, um, like a sticky film. That's pretty common with UV resin. And then see the tickle. Oh, whoa. <gasps> whoa. There's, oops, there's no film. That's really impressive. Wow. Um, that was only 60 seconds. I'm really impressed. Um, I'm going to touch this one and you're going to see probably how, yeah. See how tacky it is that like my finger took off the shine. Um, you can actually see my fingerprint um, versus... The decorum is still wow that's like perfect <laughs> um, I'm really impressed that's awesome um, usually with the chow chow you have to cure it for a while several times and then even when it's done you have to like hit it with some rubbing alcohol Sorry, I'm only doing this one handed with a rubbing alcohol and wipe off that film kind of like gel nails you know um and you can see it's not very it's not very shiny hmm. wow i'm really impressed um i'll peel it off um let me hold it up where can i hold it oh that's pretty good you can see how transparent i mean they're both transparent but i mean the decorum just really outdid itself. That's awesome. The decorum is like so slightly tacky. So a tiny bit. And um oh, this is oops. I mean that's how tacky it is. It sticks to your finger. And that one oh doesn't. So I definitely recommend using clear molds. 
um, when you're using UV resin and then um, sometimes even flipping your project on the back just to make sure it gets all the way through there, um, the UV light. Okay, I also wanted to do just a really quick hardness test um, to see which one's harder. So I'm just going to try to cut through it with just a regular pair of Fisker craft scissors. Let's see, so this is the chow chow. Okay, so um, pretty average. UV resin tends to be kind of brittle. Is this the chikorin? Ooh, wow. Um, a lot more brittle than the chow chow. So that's interesting. I'll try to break it with my fingers. Kind of hard to break with your fingers and chow chow. Yeah, I mean, maybe my hands aren't that strong, but um, I guess average wear and tear. I don't think, like, if you're making things to sell, I don't think your customers are going to be cutting at the UV resin, so it should be fine. Um, if you drop something relatively thick, it should be fine. Um, but definitely the decorum was more brittle and easier to break with the scissors than the chow chow. Okie dokes, just one more test I wanted to do um, with both of the UV resins um, is I wanted to glaze an item and I already have this one um, that I glazed with the chow chow DIY and I wanted to show you these are gummy barrettes that um oh actually I sell them on my Etsy um, if you're interested. Um, anyway they're not you know they're matte so I have to glaze them I used the chow chow like I said and um, it took me quite, I don't know, a long time <laughs> to cure it with the UV resin and then I went through and wiped it with the alcohol um, and it, you know, it stays pretty shiny once it's fully cured. That's the caveat. Um, the chow chow is, it will finish really shiny um, but you have to kind of cure it for a long time in my experience. Maybe you could get a lamp with higher wattage, mine's 36 watts. Um, and that would help cure it faster. Um, but you can see when I wiped with the alcohol, it took away some of the shininess. So I actually have to redo that one. So that's that one. And I'm going to glaze this really quickly. Um, they're, they were already kind of shiny, but I, um, I glued them on with, um, super glue. So it got on there a little bit, so they're all... They're all ugly, so I have to shine this up real quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and glaze this with the Decorum UV resin. I'm going to pop it into the UV light for 60 seconds, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I finished glazing um, this gummy bear pea. As you can see, it's shiny now. Um, interesting thing. I put it in for, I glazed it, put it in. 60 seconds on the front, 60 on the back. And when I went to touch the back, it had um, a tacky layer on it. Um, so I removed it with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. And it took, actually look, the gloss off. So the back isn't very shiny. Um, interesting. And then when I flipped it to the front and I saw, and it just, it's slightly tacky, which is pretty normal. Um, with UV resins, but I was worried that if I went to rub it off with the rubbing alcohol, the same thing would happen. So I have just put it in for another 60 seconds on the front. So it had a total of two minutes to cure the top of it. Um, and like I said, it's slightly tacky. I'm just trying to set up the camera here. Um... It's slightly tacky, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it right now. Gosh, sorry, it's the wrong way. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it right now, um, so we can see if so we can see if it um if it keeps its shine even after I wipe it. So this is just um, paper towel, and I'm gonna saturate it with some. This is isopropyl rubbing alcohol, um, 70%.
Okay, it, it kept its shine pretty well. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, uh, initially I had touched the top, like the heads of the bears, so you can tell that they're less shiny, but the bottom where I cured it for a hundred and like the bottom half of the bear's bodies, where I cured it for 120 seconds without touching them, um, cured super, super shiny. It's really nice. Um, and it's only like ever so slightly tacky. It's not sticky. Um, but it's just like, that's personally, I find that that's just how UV resin is. It has like a tack to it. Um, even when it's fully cured, um, maybe that's just a problem I have. Um, or maybe other crafters have the same thing I'm not sure but this is really nice um, so I have a feeling if you cure it for you know nuke it for like two minutes maybe three to be sh extra sure um, I think this is gonna work out really well because of the two minutes it did that and um, I also wanted to note that um with the chow chow the chow chow resin uv resin um like i said earlier it goes on really thick so when you're you know i paint on the uv resin with you know a paintbrush um when you're painting it on it's it's so thick that um when you paint it over a piece it um i'm looking for the word um the point is it it separates and like it doesn't have enough surface tension so you know you might be working on this one and as you work your way down this one starts to like get uncovered with the UV resin so you have to put it on kind of thick so it has enough surface tension like you know to coat your item um, which was kind of a you know for me it was one of the pitfalls because I had to put it on so thick that I lost a couple of the details of the bears like their eyes and their mouth um, and their ears up here so that's what happened with the chow chow but with the decorum i was able to put it on um and it's thinner i was able to put it on so thinly that i didn't lose the details in my little fat gummy bears here um so that was a really nice benefit i thought that maybe it being um thinner would be a bad thing but uh, i mean i was able to glaze this really easily um and without having to worry so much about my bears being uncovered I could just kind of do it all in one go um sometimes with the with the chow chow uv resin I have to like do one part put it under the uv light then take it out and finish it and kind of go like back and forth but with the decorum I was able to do it I was able to do it um just all in one go so I'm actually really really happy and satisfied with this just my final thoughts on those two UV resins. Um, I was thoroughly impressed with the um, Decorum UV resin. Um, again, it was my first time using it, but I am super impressed by it. It worked super well. Um, I was really floored, especially by that first um, little test with um, how non-tacky it was. That's awesome. Uh, so I have a feeling if you cure this for, like I said, two or three minutes, you should have no problem. Also, um, if you want to buy the Chow Chow Brown or if you already have it, uh, it's not a bad resin. It's not. It's good. It's just, it's going to take, um, it's going to take a while to cure it um, and to get that full cure and to be able to have um, a shiny piece. Um, I'll just show you my little gummy bears can you see them my gummy bears that i have over here i cured these and i'm actually still carrying them just in case i cure these for so long i honestly i lose track at least an hour um because 
I really don't want them. You know, I don't want to put all that work in and then have them not be shiny. Um, so again, it's not a bad resin. It just has different qualities. Um, I did some price checking on Amazon and eBay. And um, this is the 100 gram. But the 200 grams, on average, the cheapest you're going to find this is $21.55. Um, that's what I found. Versus the decorum, 200 grams was $24.99. So just for those couple of dollars worth of um, difference, um, in my opinion, I would spring for the decorum. It works really well. It's really worth it. Um, those are my those are my two cents. <laughs> um, if you liked this video, um, you can let me know in the comments if you have a suggestion or a tip about using UV resin or what UV resin is your favorite brand. Um, I'd love to hear about that. Um, I always try. I always like to. I mean, who doesn't, right? But I always like to find different supplies and, and test them out and see what works the best. Um, anyway, if you watch this video, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.